Good day, good afternoon, and good morning. This is Michael Cunningham, and today we're going to talk about the Global Scholars Diploma Program, International Trade Competition, International Business Leaders and Educators, Export Marketing Plans, Monday, April 14th, 2025, here in Austin, Texas. The Global Scholars Diploma Program, along with the World Affairs Council of Austin, AGBU Armenian Virtual College, and Belarusian State University, presents its high school program April 14, 2025. Who are we? Here you see the World Affairs Council link. Who are your trainers? Ben Ramirez, Vice President, World Affairs Council of Austin. Pavla of the Belarusian Embassy, Washington, D.C. Maureen, ABGU, A A ABC, Armenian Virtual College. Yvette Zorian, President, AGBU, Armenian Virtual College. And Michael Cunningham, Global Scholars Diploma Program, plus others. Schedule for the competition. There'll be four workshops in the morning from 8 to 8.45, from 9 to 9.45, from 10 to 10.45, from 11 to 11.45. Then we'll have lunch from 11.45 to 1 and student presentations or export plans, 1 to 3.30. The award ceremony will be from 3.30 to 4 p.m. Topics for the workshop, building the export plan, logistics and documentation, resources and intro to U.S. commercial services and trade shows, banking considerations, legal considerations, market entry, and lessons learned. Guest speakers workshop, Michael Cunningham, Global Scholars Diploma, Export, Sanctions, and Politics. Ben Ramirez, World Affairs Council, Exports, Trade Development, Pavlov, the importance of developing export marketing plan, plus many more to be announced. Introduction to the program, fundamentals of choosing the export a boil product and market. What makes a product or service exportable? Exportable. Market entry techniques and how to choose which one is the most appropriate. Instructor and student dialogue. Introduct, uh, introduction to export market entry. Introduction to export month uh, entry feasibility. Products and markets. Student groups are assigned. Three steps for export entry business. See plan. Exploring challenges. Challenges are non-tariff barriers to trade and sanctions, distribution channels, logistics, term of payment, international marketing, emerging markets. Methods of market entry. Understand exporting. Understand goods versus services. Do your analysis with a full toolbox of market entry methodology. Each of us require a different approach and methodology. Each is chosen based on a product type and market conditions, as well as company-specific elements. Export market entry business plan. Step one, select your product for export. Select your target market. Choose only one country. General information on the market. Explain why you pick this market as your number one market entry port. Export market plan business. Step two. Description of the product and why is it appropriate for this market? Competitive advantage. M method of marketing, entry and why. Describe the competition, how you will beat them. Describe the market characteristics which will affect your entry, including non-tariff barriers if appropriate. Export market entry business plan step three. Describe distribution characteristics if appropriate. Predict market share at two and again at five years. Chart sales growth based on market information, export statistical analysis, export logistics, documentations, freight forwarders, custom brokers, Schedule B export codes. Every item that is export, exported is a unique 10 digit identification for the United States. Every 10 digit code is part of a series of progressively broader product categories. Why are they important? to determine the tariffs and preferential tariffs under FTAs, help in looking up export statistics, to compare with AES shipper export declaration documents. If you're from another country, please include your codes. The project scenario, if you've been hired, you, are been, you have been hired as an export manager for XYZ Corporation. You have been asked to develop an export market for your company's product. You must 
make your case to the shareholders to convince them that the international business is available for your company. And that warrants further investment and attention from the management. This is your scenario. This is what you're going to make your plan from. Project scenario continue. You must choose one product and one market. We recommend exporting goods, not services for this exercise. However, if you are a service business, you can use a service. Choose the best and most appropriate market entry strategy and tell us why. Forecast where it will lead to in two years and five years. All presentations will include on April 14th, an oral presentation with the use of a PTXT or Prezi a PDF of all written documentation. The final score is based on the judge's decision of the participant's presentation. The five basic types of exporting, direct exporting, indirect exporting, sales of intellectual property and licensing, international bidding, projects, business, and alternative methods. Exporting basic considerations. Who are your customers? Importing distributors industrial or end use or end users, retailers, government. What is the universe for these customers? Limited or large number of potential buyers. How are you going to reach them? Exporting your customer's universe. If your customer's universe is limited, it is impossible to approach those customers directly. If there is a large number of potential customers, it is costly and inefficient to try to reach each one. What is likely a transaction size? Sales costs per customers need to be considered. Difficulty in reaching a large number of customers may create a need for a market intermediary. Direct market entry. Direct market entry requires exporter to assume all responsibilities for exporting, market selection, market development, logistics, financing, and regulatory compliance. Direct marketing entry options, exporting directly to the end user, exporting directly to an importing distributor, add value added reseller or agent, B2B or e-commerce, set up uh, your own foreign sales office, buy existing foreign operation or establish a joint venture. Indirect marketing, indirect marketing in entry works it goes through a third party to achieve market entry sales. 100% of the export effort is outsourced, normally to a domestically based partner. The third partner is the decision maker, choice of markets. Third party assumes all risk for most indirect options. Indirect exporting, use a market intermediary, major types, export trading, export management companies, export agents, piggyback marketing, strategic alliance partners. Other options, foreign buying offices, project buying offices, transfer of intellectual property, sell what you know, licensing, franchising, consulting, contracting, and two-way technology transfers. Factor influencing export methods, control, seize of asset, nature of product or service, effects on pricing or political, Availability of skilled personnel in your operation or foreign market and a commitment to a specific market. Direct versus indirect exporting. Benefits of indirect exporting. No experiences required by exporting company. Like another domestic sale, management is not distracted. It's a faster way to go to market. Building on experience of a partner, no need to develop internal export capacity capabilities. Low or no cost, no direct exporting costs, low risk, some risk with an agent. Direct versus indirect exporting, disadvantage of indirect exporting, poor or no control over export activities, no control over basic sales, pricing, or marketing decisions. Attention to your product may be inadequate. Inadequate feedback, low or no feedback from third party or its customers. Selling to the wrong markets. Uh, distributors or customers. This has a high opportunity cost. Product risk. Your product may be presented ineffectively. Direct exporting advantages and disadvantages. The advantages are export has control over execution of export activities, the choice of the markets and timing, higher direct feedback, a greater control over marketing and branding. 
direct exporting advantages and disadvantages. Disadvantages, higher marketing costs than indirect exporting requires greater management time and focus. Normally longer time to develop export sales, higher financial risk, opportunity costs due to poor execution. Market research, what to look for. Now you are ready to verify which foreign market has the best potential for your product. Define distribution methods within a country. Define basic distribution agreements. Find potential partners. Define any additional trade barriers and entry requirements. Define cultural differences. And define advertising and marketing information. Trade shows. Foreign and U.S. trade shows are a major market intelligence and market entry tool, opportunity to understand your competition within the market, identify and meet with potential distributors, ongoing, so ongoing source of the market intelligence. Exhibiting initially is not required. Many foreign shows are supported by USFCS. International trade resource on the internet. There are 13 sources right there and links for several of them. Export links, how do you actually make a plan, market research tools and seek practical advice. And there are links to get your plan, research tools and advice. April 14th, marketing plan template. There's a link to get your template. There's a link to get business plan. And remember, for present purpose, uh, pre for presentation purposes, make sure that you use always PPF. International bidding, multilateral bank businesses, public works, RFP, request for um, government, government to government subcontractor. International bidding often depends upon timing, uh, government agreements, and local representation. Alternative methods, the gray market and barter routes, barter trucks. Getting paid, the basics. Exporters need to understand different payment options used to, for imported goods. Terms are subject to negotiation between the buyer and the seller. The level of risk is used in specific payment methods are often opposite for the buyer and seller. Use due diligence. Do your homework. Getting paid for exports are four basic methods. One, cash in advance. Two, letters of credit. Three, bank drafts. Four, open account. And you will notice here, cash in advance, the importer would like to have cash in advance. The exporter, I mean, the, ex and the importer would not like to have cash in advance. The exporter would. Letter of credit, you'll see three and two. Bank draft, just the opposite. And finally, the open account. The importer likes open account. The exporter does not. Export finance, small business administration, export loans, if you're here in the States. Export uh, import banks, loan programs, export credit insurance, foreign banks, international banks, international trade associations. Social media for exporters, social media leverage. Everyone has something to say. LinkedIn, Twitter, blogs, Facebook. We like to watch social media for shopping. Also, it's, I'd say TikTok and, and several others. Ways exporters can use network. Here are 10 ways, including several with links. International export information. Learn how to export. Learn and import, import laws and regulations, trade statistics by country. You'll notice that these are international World Bank uh, programs, and it's a, it's a good uh, thing to look at. Other factors influencing export methods, personal preferences, knowledge of specific markets, unique uh, capabilities of potential local partners, including technology, appetite for financial exposure, Political exposure, trade and financial barriers, tariff barriers, spotlight on Brazil. Import duties alone can range from 10 to 20%. Industrialized product tax, IPI, ranges from 10 to 15%. Merchandise and service calculation tax, 18% in Sao Paulo, but it varies in different states. Other miscellaneous taxes and fee, warehouse tax, terminal handling tax, mandatory contributions to custom brokers union. 
cargo transportation fee, and the list goes on and on. And this does not even include any sanctions. Non-tariff barriers, government measures or policies other than tariffs that restrict or destroy international trade, including import quotas, discriminatory government procedure practices, measures to protect intellectual property. And this does not include sanctions. International legal consideration. Be aware of the law you must follow to compare with you comply with US laws. This becomes very difficult when many times this is a shifting sand situation. Know the procedures to ensure successful export transfer transaction. Understand programs and tax procedures that open new markets and provide financial benefits. Intellectual property considerations. Conclusion. Thank you for your time. Continue to work hard on your group presentations. Find yourself and practice out loud. Are there any questions? Contact us. Ben Ramirez and his telephone number. Michael Cunningham, his telephone number, and both have email addresses. We are here to help you. Eat. Remember, presentations will be allowed up to 20 minutes for the presentation. Each export plan presentation will be allowed up to 20 minutes for the presentation. Questions will be allowed during the presentation. No question will be asked either in the first two minutes or the last two minutes of the presentation. All judges' scores will be based solely on students' presentation. After all this, we are going to say, see you in Austin, April 14th, night. 2025. We will see you there.